Hey guys, Corey from ShootingTime.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Archer's Advantage online archery software. Um, this is a pretty cool software that helps you to select arrow shafts, uh, gets you dialed into the perfect dynamic spine, also has other bells and whistles like um, printing sight tapes, um, trajectories, uphill downhill shots, and simulated target faces at uh, shorter yardages. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in. <clears throat> and I'm actually going to add a setup here. I'm going to call this setup Prime CT9. Indoor. There we go. So I have the CT9 coming. Um, so I want to figure out what the best arrow is uh, or configuration of the arrows that I have for this bow. So I'm going to go to uh, bow configuration. Select the bow from the list. Logic CT9 transfer data to current setup. All right, so there we go. Peak weight 60, that's accurate. And there's all our specs. Draw length's going to be 29. So the next thing we're going to do is go to arrow configuration. Now I got some tank 27s in, so I'm going to go to Carbon Express. And find the tank 27s. We'll figure out tip weight and uh, length needed for the perfect dynamic spine. So let's see, it's going to start us off at 29 inch arrow length. I'm going to change that to 30. And point details. Let's go ahead and start off at 205. And we'll leave all that the same. So with that information, we're going to go ahead and hit the shaft selector. And it's showing that I'm a little stiff. So that means I need to uh, increase the shaft length to 31, make it a little bit weaker. Now it's slightly stiff. Now I could add a little bit of point weight. Let's go 215. Still a little stiff. It's 225. Still a little stiff. Forget the uh, uncut length of these arrows, but let's try 32. And right there, we got the optimum spine. Let me see if I bring that back down to 205. That's still sitting pretty good. So that very quickly shows you how you can um, add a setup and figure out um, the ideal shaft length and point weight to get the dynamic spine for your current rig setup. Um, now as far as other things that this program offers is uh, sight tapes. So you can go to your setup and you can actually go to sight configuration. And here you're going to have to measure your peep to your sight at full draw and the center of your peep to the center of your arrow at full draw. Enter that here. Select your your sight type. Let's just go with the boss hog just for this example. And we're going to click sight in. Now what this does is it has a, a preferred method of doing this uh, to calculate the speed. Um, it has you shoot at 20 yards and in this case 80 yards which you can switch that. You can do that there but we'll leave it at 80 and then what what you're going to do is measure um, the distance between um, your sight tape mark where you're hitting at 20 and where you're hitting at 80 in thousands of an inch and uh, you're going to input that here it'll calculate the speed and then you can go to uh, preview marks <laughs> And then you can go to print. 
just going to hit print here. It's going to show you what the site tape is going to look like. Let's try that once more. And here's your sight tape. And it's going to give you a little variance here in speed. Uh, 275 feet per second. 276, 277. It'll go down to 273. So you just go ahead and uh, print that out on your self-adhesive um, paper and you should be good to go. Well, let's get off of here. And we can also do other things like scaled targets. This is pretty cool. If you're practicing closer than the um, typical distance of the target, for instance, um, let's go to an NFAA 5 spot. Reference range is 20. Practice range, let's go. Oh, let's get this in yards real quick. Let's say if you can only shoot a 10 yard shot. There you go. You're going to hit print target. And it's going to size it for the distance you're actually shooting at. And that's a real cool feature for even if you just want to practice your your hold of what it would be simulated at 20 yards. Uh, it's just a great feature to help you with your training. Let's see what else we have here. Uphill and downhill. So let's say the target angle is 15 degrees. Going to calculate it that instead of um, it being an accurate shot at 80 yards, the adjusted range or horizontal distance to the target is actually 78.3 yards. It gives you um, some pretty cool info here, and you can mess with that. You can um, also mess with the trajectory to where you could select the target type. And what part of the target you're shooting for? Let's say it was the four ring. I don't know why you'd want to shoot the four ring, but it shows you that um, for a 40 yard shot, is uh, the most that you can be off is guessing it for 37.2 or all the way up to 42.4. You still should be in the four ring. Let's change that to the X ring. Of course, it tightens it up. X ring's a lot smaller. Here you can be off, you know, roughly a half a yard and, s and still be in the X ring. So, there it is, guys. A uh, quick rundown of the Archer's Advantage software. I hope this uh, helps you out and kind of shows you uh, how important this software is and how useful it could be to any competitive archer. Thanks, guys. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Take care.